Now, if you're very tech savvy, if you know about hashtags, especially if you're an online person, I mean, in this day and age, who is not? And then by now, you must know about the Fix It or Fix the Country or Fix Mother Ghana campaign, which started off online on social media, specifically on Twitter, which was engineered by very young Ghanaians in this country who were not seeking elements to be thrown at us or superficial or miraculous things to be thrown at us through rocket science. They were just basically asking for the basic things that will make you as a Ghanaian survive in this country. Water, roads, electricity, healthcare, that's all that this campaign was seeking for. Now, it started off with a lot of agitation online, but it hasn't gone without counter responses from government as well. Now, when the campaign started, the hashtag was fix the country. In no time, there was a counter hashtag that came out from government that said fix yourself. Well, this came as a shock to many of us right here in this country, and it was characterized with a lot of agitation and frustration across the public landscape in this country. Now, a date was slated for the demonstration for Fix the Country. Now, it was on the 9th of May, and if you're a true Ghanaian, this date must resonate with you. It's a very significant date in the history of this country, 9th of May. But before we knew it, a court in Sanction was sought and was placed and it stopped this demonstration from taking place and the reason was that it was not safe to mass up publicly because it was against the COVID-19 restrictions especially when it comes to public or social gatherings. Okay now moving on just a month after the High Court has now quashed the Supreme, um, the Supreme Court, I beg your pardon, has caused the High Court order which barred the Fix the Country campaigners from staging the street protest. Now, the big question we are asking you as media general is whose responsibility is it to fix the country? Is it us, the citizenry? Is it the government? Who is even the government? These and many, many questions are what we are seeking to find answers to at the media general public um, forum, which is happening tomorrow. And trust us, yes, we are the generals in the media landscape or in the media space. So definitely we'll provide a forum for you to come and share your opinions on exactly what the way forward is for this country when it comes to fix the country campaign and with me this morning mm -hmm. is my boss <laughs> Serum Ofori. he is a general manager mm -hmm. um, news desk right here at media general he's going to throw more light on this very grand public forum that we are having tomorrow good morning sir good morning Kuki. how are you i'm fine thank you good it's, to see you oh yeah and it's really nice to be here my first interview with you by the way so. it's amazing eh? yeah i've been here <clears throat> almost six months you and have. it's the first time we are interacting yeah wow yeah. you're camera shy you don't like the cameras very much I told yeah you, you told me you don't like the cameras <laughs> I really so don't. instead of making this um discussion maybe 20 <laughs> minutes he's a little camera shy so I'll, I'll i'll just slam everything into three minutes is that okay <laughs> that's fine anyway that's fine. thanks for all the right so you're very welcome <laughs> <laughs> Sadam, tell me yes. something. Before we even get to the grand forum that we are having sure, tomorrow, sure. we have uh, we, we've had the opportunity of discussing this with stakeholders and even here amongst ourselves as team members. Yeah. But I haven't picked your mind on this whole uh, fix the country campaign. Yes. What do you make of it? What I make of it is that it's uh, it's an accumulation. Mm. What what the general public feels. Right. I, what I'm picking on the sentiment is that mm. it's. Uh, it's really an accumulation of of a myriad of sentiments yes. that are finding expression now. Right. Right. Uh, the primary vehicle now being the social media platforms, right. which has provided a voice and a vehicle mm. for mass social mobilization mm -hmm. for mm. causes such as these. Mm. I don't think it is new. I don't think the issues that undergird the agitation society, such as youth unemployment, crime, Water, impunity, in governance, provision of access of uh, basic amenities yeah. it's, it's a new thing i don't think it's new right. but i think it's gone on for so long mm -hmm. and we are increasingly having maybe owing to the number of people who are going to school and coming out of uh, institutions of higher learning mm. more and more of the youth are more expressive and have found a voice on social media to be able to mobilize people against it i mean it's one thing to have gone to school all this while on the <laughs> promise of <laughs> getting a job and then when you come out of school there's yeah. no space for yeah. you yeah. Uh, it's one thing to have a good car and have to spend so much money fixing it because the roads are bad 
it's, 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 I mean, for a hardworking citizen who pays your tax, mm. etc., does well to stay within the remits of the law, mm. put your children through school, and then you turn on the light and it's not there. Mm -hmm. And so the children are unable to prepare properly mm -hmm. ahead of exams. Mm -hmm. These things, these frustrations, we've sort of expressed them over time, but now mm -hmm. um, we've gone past just talking about them to social movements such as the Fix It. Uh, fixing Ghana movement who who are mobilizing people to mm. demonstrate, even mm. going to court mm. to get determinations of the court to assert their rights right. to mobilize and express themselves. Right. So I think it's just, we, we are only now coming to the climax of of a feeling that has been widely yeah. shared yeah. by many Ghanaians yeah. for yeah. a very long time. Mm. Mm. And now people don't mind going out into the streets to yeah. get their voices yeah. heard. Exactly. Uh, it's not just here, it's happening mm. in Nigeria. Mm. Uh, there was and serious... Sucks. Yeah, and SARS yeah. movement. I was going to speak to that. And yeah. uh, so basically, it's a, it's a groundswell of um, sentiments that have been buried uh, among the general public for a very long time. And now the youth have found a vehicle to mobilize. Right. Uh, you don't need to give them a radio or television airtime to make their cause. They right. have the social media right. to mobilize for right. such social causes. So here we are. Oh. <laughs> I love every bit of your submission. You should have been here a long, long time ago. I don't know why your camera said you should have been here a very long time ago. Now, yeah. I believe that these and many others is what has informed the decision to hold this grand forum tomorrow. Is that, is that uh, correct? Yes, it is one of them. And this is the first in a series of conversations which TV3 uh, is putting together. We are bringing thought leaders and the general public together to uh, have a conversation on the state of affairs okay. in our country as regards things like youth unemployment and crime. Okay. Uh, uh, you do the newspaper review here. So right. the front page, today's daily graphic front page, mm -hmm. publishes some, the findings of a research that was done by the National Commission on Civic Education okay. uh, into extremism. And right. one of the big concerns that this research reveals is youth unemployment as being the primary motivator mm -hmm for extremism in our society. When people just don't have gainful employment, they don't have things to expend your energies and time on and be rewarded in, you know, by remuneration, you, you, you will have extremism. So this is not just us saying it. It's okay. grounded on research, research done both by the NCCE mm. and the mm. National Security also. Right. Right. And, and it shows that youth unemployment is serious. So we want to talk about youth unemployment okay. as part of the forum. We also look at the national security and Galamse problem. Okay. Uh, but national security because we, we really want to understand what this institution is about. Mm. Because increasingly, uh, there's a perception that they are assuming a more militant posture uh, and also encroaching on civil liberties. Uh, is it a primary duty mm. of people who work under national security to mm. go about evicting people from office, etc.? I yeah. want to ask some of yeah. these questions of okay. the panel. Okay. Uh, also, integrity in government and taking a social contract seriously. Okay. Um, the social contract theory imposes some obligations on states that we've agreed that a few people should rule over us, make rules for us to comply by. But should that also be an excuse for impunity in government? Mm. Do different laws apply to different people? Mm -hmm. So that if I stole a ballot box yeah. at Tichiman, I'll be shot. <laughs> but if it happened amongst the people who it's made the parliament. law, the legislators, yeah. uh, they can be excused. Right. So that issue also has right. to be looked at. Right. We're also looking at corruption and abuse of power. Okay. Whether government now has become the avenue for self-aggrandizement. Mm. Um, whether it's now a game of the elite state capture, you know, and parochialism. Mm. Uh, we, we want these things to be actually because those who generally feel that look once people are affiliated with certain political parties or hold some high position in government they are excused uh, from 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 prosecution they can do what they like and then there will always be a committee of inquiry that would come to justify uh, their involvement in that affair so we want to beg this question we think that at the root of fixing Ghana there are mm -hmm. a number of things to be talked about mm -hmm. I haven't mentioned yeah. access to health and right. education and right. sanitation mm -hmm. I haven't mentioned law and order mm -hmm. Uh, those would come in subsequent conversations okay. on a different but forum. But these ones are the concentrations but these for ones, tomorrow. Yes, are the ones that will be looked at okay. uh, tomorrow. Right. Yeah. Now, so holistically, as a media house and as a country, what, what are we seeking to achieve at the end of this forum? We, as Media Journal, want to leverage our unparalleled media uh, reach to bring thought leaders and the general public together for okay. a conversation on the issues that affect our everyday life. Right. But most importantly, not just giving voice to people to vent, but giving an opportunity for us also to explore ideas, okay. ideas from everywhere mm. on solutions. Okay. So for us, we want to end this forum with 
being armed with information that right. possibly could be experimented on right. or tried as solutions to our problems. Fantastic. So if you look at, and I'll be getting to that pretty shortly, but if you look at the panel. Right. I was just going to ask. The, the, it's composed of, it's a mix of the young and the old. Okay. Okay. And it's important to have young people on that panel because right. we, we speak an awful lot about how they are the owners of the future. Right. The future, right. which is now, mm. uh, is for the youth. They should have a say in how we solve problems confronting us. And we also think that there's a wealth of information among the youth that, if given serious attention mm. to, could form part of the solutions okay. to some of these problems. Right. So we have, um, the, for the older generation, we have Professor Bafwa Jimandua, okay. who, uh, uh, a very renowned name in, in terms right. of governance, he right. was an advisor to the UN on governance. Mm -hmm. uh, he also is a founder member of the Center for Democratic Development. He will be speaking to the issue of integrity in governance, taking a social contract okay. seriously. Okay. Then we have Mami Awenado Kanyerege. Mm. She is a consultant with Black Ridge mm. and uh, a very young lady who right. will be speaking to youth unemployment okay. and drawing a nexus between that and crime. Right. Uh, and then also we have Manasi uh, Azuri Awuni, <laughs> editor-in-chief of the yeah. Fourth Estate. He's a renowned right. journalist. Yeah. His name yeah. does not beg any right. further right. Uh, explanation. He's been at the fault. forefront of exposing corruption yeah. in, public, in the public service and right. elsewhere. And we think that we, we need to draw his experience and observations Right. in finding a solution to the problem of corruption and abuse of power. Then finally, we have mm. Dr. Ishmael Norm Norman, who is president and CEO of the Institute of Security, Disaster and Emergency. Mm -hmm. uh, a towering figure in our conversations yeah. on COVID-19. Mm. Uh, but we're bringing him onto this forum to speak to how uh, to the national security situation yeah. and Galamse. Right. So um, everybody else who have an opportunity will be sharing on 3news.com a link Exactly. By which the public can join the conversation virtually. Oh, we have to observe. Okay, so wait. Are we going? Can we can we attend physically though? You can't. Wait, where's um, the venue? The venue is here at TV3 in okay. Studio C, okay. but the rest of the public would have to join the conversation by watching it on TV3. Okay or listening to it on 92.73 FM, okay. or going on our social media pages, TV3 Ghana, either on Facebook or on Twitter, and joining the conversation. Right. Or you could also, if you feel compelled to ask right. a question or make mm. a contribution, mm. use the Zoom link, which will be advertising on 3news.com, okay. to access the platform on which you can share your ideas. Right. What, what time is it starting? It's starting at 10 o'clock in the morning. 10.30 in the 10 30 morning. That is tomorrow. Right. Uh, 10th, 10th June. of June, yes. Yes. So tomorrow mm. at 10.30, mm. we start a forum. It's okay. live. Okay. And uh, the public is invited to right. join. It's expected to last how long? Uh, it's just about an hour and 30 okay. minutes. Okay. Um, and then we are done. And hopefully, at the end of the day, we'll find answers to fixing this country yes. and make Ghana what exactly it is supposed to be. To be yes. your, your last words before you leave us. Well, this is an important... Um, national or should I say civic responsibility. We entreat all Ghanaians to be part of this conversation. We are not leaving this to just the few groups occupy Ghana, right. fix Ghana <laughs> and those. All of us have to play a role mm. in fixing Ghana. Okay. And so we're interrogating what your role is and what yeah. institutional roles are right. in getting to the solution. So you'll be right. a part of it. Fantastic. Senator Mufori, thank you so much for Pleasure joining us here. this Thanks morning. For having me. Now, he's the general manager, news desk, right here at Media General. And be sure to join us tomorrow, 10 30, right here at TV3 Ghana. But if you cannot make it physically here, yes, he said it, it's online. You can watch on Facebook, Twitter. It will be on TV3 as well, and then on 3FM 92.7. Please make sure you make a date with us tomorrow as we fix this country. This is still TV3 New Day. I am Cookie. We'll be back with some entertainment.